Hello students, my name is Robin and I am your teacher. And in this video, we are going to focus on two common English questions that can be confusing. My students confuse these questions all the time. The questions are, what do you do and what are you doing? These are very different questions and you, answer, you give different answers to these questions. And in this video, I am going to explain the difference between these questions. What do you do? What are you doing? And I'm going to give you homework. And if you're watching me now, I expect you to do the homework. It's open and free to everyone. There's no excuses. Do the homework. So let's take a look at the homework. It says answer five questions. These are the five questions I'm going to ask you. Don't answer them now. You have to wait until the end of the video because I'm going to teach you how to perfectly answer these questions. And then you're going to post your homework in the comments section below this video and I am going to check your homework. All right, the questions will be what do you do? What are you doing? Again, these are very different questions with very different answers. What are you doing these days? What does Robin do? Again, I am Robin. And what is Robin doing? Those are the five questions you're going to answer and you're going to post in the comment section. I will put these questions in the description of this video. So after this video, you can answer the questions and post them. All right, let's get into the lesson. The first question, what do you do? Very, very common question when you meet someone for the first time and the question is, what do you do? But let's increase that to native speaker speed. And a native speaker will say, what do you do? What do you do? Hi, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? So yeah, it's going to be a very quick and fast question. Get used to it. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, of course, you can say, what do you do? But yeah, most native speakers are going to say that question very fast. Hey, nice to meet you. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? And, uh, you know, you have to train your ear for this one. And you have to practice saying it as fast as you can. So practice what do you do? I don't know. 10,000 times practice that. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Uh, I'm not going to focus on the pronunciation in this video. I'm just letting you know. It's a quick question. All right, so when someone asks, what do you do? This question is only asking about your job, all right? The purpose of this question is the person wants to know your job. Now, you can have an actual job, like you're a, a teacher, a doctor, something, a pilot, something like that. Or, you know, maybe you don't have a job, but you are doing something like you're just a student, all right? That's okay, too. So what do, you, what do you do? You could say I'm a teacher or I'm a student. Uh, just telling that person what you're doing these, uh, these days as an occupation. All right. So it's only asking about your job. It is never asking about your current action. So, you know, if I have my phone here, I'll get my phone. And someone asks, what do you do? And you say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to my mom. That doesn't work. Or, uh, you know, what do you do? Oh, I'm, I'm going fishing. No, no, no. It's only asking about your job. They only want to know about your job, not your actions right now, your current actions. All right. So I have some dialogues to help us. So person A here says, what do you do? And person B says, I'm exercising. This is wrong. We cannot do this. This is all wrong. Let's put big X's here. X, X. Let's put, okay, yeah, X, X. These are wrong. So what do you do? This person wants to know about the job. This person is talking about current action. Wrong. This is wrong. So this is where my students are confused. They they see that do, they think they know do means action, uh, but actually it's more about the job, okay? Now, let's look at this second dialogue. What do you do? I'm a teacher. Great. 
Uh, I'm teaching English. Mm. Now, a native speaker, you know, this is the best answer. I'm a teacher. You're, you're telling your job. You got the I, be verb, am. You got the teacher, which is your noun, and you're using an article here. I'm a teacher. That is the best answer. But, you know, you might hear, I'm teaching English, which is not the best answer, but it is a, a possible answer. I don't like this answer. I love this type of answer, this grammar, not using the present continuous, but this is okay. This is okay. I'm not going to say, don't say this. What do you do? I'm a teacher or I'm teaching English. Both of those are okay because you're talking about your job. You are answering the question. You are telling that person what your job is. So you can answer this way, the way I like, or you could answer this way, which is also okay which is also okay. But I, in this video, I'm going to focus on this. As long as you're talking about your job for this question, I'm happy. All right, let's look at a little bit of the grammar. I'm a. Now, you notice I put the article a in a different color. Why did I do that? Because it's important. You don't forget that article. I'm a. He's a, she's a. So I'm a teacher. You're talking about someone else. He's a teacher. You're talking about someone else. She's a teacher. I'm a student. He's a student. She's a student. All right. Now this, again, let's go up to native speaker speed. This is going to sound like one word. I'm a. He's a. She's a. I'm a, he's a, she's a. You can practice that 10,000 times also. I'm a, he's a, she's a. I'm a teacher, he's a teacher, she's a teacher. Practice that. I'm a teacher, he's a teacher, she's a teacher. I'm a student, he's a student, she's a student. But I have to hear that ah, uh, which is going to sound more like the schwa. Uh, he's a, she's a, uh, he's a, I'm a, he's a, she's a. But I got to hear it. I have to hear it. So housewife is another occupation, housewife, or you could also say homemaker. If, if you are a, a woman and you're at home taking care of the children, taking care of the house, you could say you're a housewife. But again, if you're making a sentence and you do not put the ah, it's wrong. You have to have that article ah. You cannot say I'm housewife. I'm student. I'm teacher, I'm engineer, something like that. No, this article is very important. I'm looking for it. If you do not have it in your homework, you will, you will have to do 10 push-ups as punishment. So don't forget the article when asking, what do you do? I'm a student, I'm a teacher, I'm a pilot, I'm a nurse, I'm a doctor, something like that. Don't forget it. Also, if you see, if you have a job that begins with a vowel sound, or you see that vowel here, you could say, I'm a student, he's an, so we're using a or an, he's, he's an, he's an engineer, he's an office worker, he's an artist, he's an actress. These are all uh, jobs that start with a vowel. If your job starts with a vowel sound, make sure you use an. So when I check your homework, I'm checking for the a uh, or an. I better see it for the question, what do you do? Now the question, what do you do? Hmm. It can ask what to do, what sort of action in a hypothetical situation. Now, hypothetical situation is kind of a future possible situation, a possible situation. So we can use what do you do uh, in this case. Now, if we just have the question, what do you do? It's asking about your job. 
But if we do have the question, what do you do when it rains? What do you do if it rains? So if you have these, what do you do when? What do you do if? That's the possible situation in the future. In this case, it's not talking about job. All right. It's talking about the action. All right. So actually, we're not going to focus too much on this. I thought I would mention it, but this is not the focus of this video. I will do this in a future video. But yes, what do you do when or if then the focus is on the action but if you just see the question, what do you do? That's going to be asking about your job. Always. It's going to be asking about your job. Okay. So I thought I, I would mention that. Let's go into the second one. What are you doing? All right. Now this, you see that ING here. Now we're focused on the present continuous tense and present continuous ING is focused on the now, right now. What are you doing? Your action, do, ing, now. What are you doing right now? It is not talking about a job. It can be, it can be. And I'll mention, I'll talk about that, but the focus is more on your action right now. So now, right now, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's what the mother is going to say to their children. She opens the door. What are you doing? What are you doing? So it is asking what your current action is. So right now, I'm teaching. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm clicking a mouse. Right now, I'm looking at the camera. I, I'm doing many actions right now. We could also use it in the future. It could be tomorrow is the future, but I'm going to focus more on a these days, which is a not tomorrow, not next month. It's just happening these days. So it can ask what you are doing, the action, or what kind of job you have in general over a longer period of time, these days. How long is these days? A few days, a month, I don't know. It depends on the person. But in this case, the now is never asking about a job, but the future or these days can be asking about a job. It is possible. Let's take a look at some uh, dialogues here. So what are you doing? So right now, what are you doing? If I asked you this question, what are you doing? You should answer, I am study notice study with a y and you just add ing for present continuous happening now i'm studying english what are you doing i'm studying english uh, if we are outside i meet you outside what are you doing i'm exercising okay now let's look at what are you doing these days so you meet a friend you haven't seen a friend uh in a long time and you ask you know what are you doing he might say i'm going to work what are you doing these days so these days is kind of you know what's happening in your life and the friend here says i'm studying english all right so is he studying english right now no he's these days he's studying english and preparing to take my IELTS test. Is he preparing for his IELTS test right now? No, but these days he is doing it. And I'm also working as an English teacher part time. So here, what are you doing these days? He, he can talk about his job using the verb ing. I'm working or I'm teaching, I'm flying an airplane, but he has to have that ing. Our question is ing, present continuous. So whatever verb you're using is ing. So in this case, yeah, he can also talk about his job as an action he's doing these days. 
So I'm studying English and preparing to take my IELTS test. I'm also working as an English teacher part time. So it's a little confusing, the little differences between what do you do? What are you doing? What are you doing these days? So let's go back to our questions. Five questions. This is your homework. What do you do? That's your job. What are you doing? That is your action right now. What are you doing these days? It could be a few actions. It could include your job, but certainly uh, for number two and number three, I should see the ing in verb ing. And then the last question, what does Robin do? And what is Robin doing? Those are your questions. I'll put a copy of the questions below this video. Do your best to make, you know, the perfect answer. All right. Thank you for watching my video and please do your homework.